Okay, so we're looking at your art station, and uh, give me a moment. I'm going to start all the rest of this. And then I just want to make sure that it is going, so make sure it pushes through live. It takes a moment to connect to the API. Uh, come along, folks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going live. All right, we should be live, guys. Let's uh, just give it one moment to see uh, and to double check. So those of you who are here in the live meeting with me, make sure you get your questions sorted and uh, ready for us. And uh, there we go. I see that it is live. And uh, for those of you who are on the uh, workplace, make sure that you uh, leave a chat. Let me know that you're in there and that you can hear okay. Uh, Christian, can you say something real quick? Let's check your audio. Uh, hello. Hello to everyone. Are you guys hearing him? Yes, no? Yeah, I'm not hearing you on the um, on the broadcast, though. Can you test one more time? Okay, so now you can hear me? I don't know. It should work, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's you. Uh, so system audio is not being captured, and we got our built-in microphone. Okay, and so if, if it doesn't show up, yeah, Aaron can't hear you live. Okay. Uh, give me one second to just see what's going on. Capture device, system audio capture. All right, go for it. Okay, so now can does it go? Mm -mm, that's crazy. All right, let me check one more deal. Okay. And then uh, otherwise we'll just rely on the go to meeting. And so I'll get everybody over there. Okay, great. Let me see if it's you or uh, me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Okay, try it again. Okay, now does, mm. it, does it work? It's not. Hey, Aaron, uh, make sure you head over, post in here, or get in here. No, that's the stream key. Let me get to the right one to get to. Email the invitation. No, I don't want to email to copy the link and I'll post it up here. So I got no idea why uh, that's going, but join us in the live one. And then, uh, so give me one second to just close this out. And I will let everybody know that it is closed. Okay, so we'll kill this. I'll have to look to see what that's all about later. And uh, okay, so there we go. We are ready and we're recording. All right, my friend. Well, thank you so much um, for joining and for uh, for taking time out of your day. I, and I think it's pretty late over there, right? Yeah, <laughs> into <laughs> from my night actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One o'clock. So, but no problem. Wow. All right. So, why don't we start? Why don't you? I'm, I'm honored to 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 do this. So. Uh, thank you, man. So, to, let's start like um, with what you do. Just describe to us what you do today. So, I'm just a I'm a freelancer. I'm a character artist freelancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm doing. Uh, I, I've worked with the uh, arcane. Actually, I don't know if I will work or not, but they are saying like. We will work again. <laughs> so they, they are just develop, de developing the next game. So 
until the production we have to wait mm -hmm. so and that's it i i worked with arcane actually i worked there and then i became a freelancer yeah and that's the that's the stuff i, I think i'm doing freelance now from for 10 or 9 years okay so. yeah and uh, i've worked with other stu studios but mm -hmm. uh, that was my main uh, studio to work with. So I'm okay. Basically, some 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 employed, <laughs> some kind of employed there. Yeah. Well, how? Well, talk to me about your training. What do you? What kind of training did you go through? Uh, actually, I, I've done the University of Arts here mm -hmm. in, uh, in Bucharest, but yeah. uh, I I haven't done any training, you know, in computer and stuff like that. I've just uh, finished the paintings and study of color, I think it's called. Yeah. But we, we didn't do done any 3D or stuff like that in, uh, in, uh, in school. Okay. But uh, I, I've done it myself. I've learned by myself and I like that. And, you know, that's it. Then I, I, I've gone into, I've employed, I was employed in a first, you know, company for in a game company that, uh, that they were doing some fishing and hunting games and then uh, i work in a here in romania in a company that were uh, was doing outsource for uh, for the games that's the place i I've, I've done a lot for mm -hmm. uh, for the for the character artists and then i i've gone to to arcane then that's it then after arcane i became freelancer I wanted to come back to Romania and uh, do do the stuff, do this stuff like a freelance. Okay, as opposed to coming in stateside or going to Europe or something like that. Yeah, I, I didn't actually. Uh, I like the idea to go uh, abroad, to go to other countries. Yeah. I like the idea. I I stayed there a bit, but uh, in France, and then. Uh, I missed my uh, my country. I missed my my friends, my family. Yeah. So I I kind of uh, became some a bit of depressed, and then the uh, the guys from Arcane uh, were great. They uh, understood me. So they they said I can return back and work uh, remotely from for them. Oh, that's great. That's great. Actually, um, same thing happened to Hossein Diba. He's a friend of mine that ran some. Uh, run some classes and the same thing he's working in the states and he he just wanted to go back to turkey yeah yeah well i, I think the the guys from this part of uh, you know for from this part of of europe uh we are like tied to our families and stuff like that so yeah. maybe maybe that's the the the, the case with him with well, me, let's, i know this is the case yeah let's dive into one of your projects Let's just jump right in. And guys, feel free to start asking some questions. Um, but let's dive in and see what we can kind of come up with uh, in uh, that one figure. The, um, uh, I forget what he's called. The, the This one? Yeah. The void, void. Void. That's right. Okay. Okay, so the, this this is the creature I've done for, uh, for uh, Arcane uh, for mm -hmm. the last... For the DLC of the Dishonored 2. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, walk me through the generation process. What I'm really wanting to understand is, like, um, I'm looking for some information in terms of how how the uh, jobs get broken down. So, um, what part were you responsible in this creature? Uh, okay, so I was part. I was responsible for the. Actually, for the whole stuff. Mm -hmm. but actually, so I started with the uh, scouting. Mm -hmm. I've started. Uh, they start. Actually, they start the. I, I said here the hand sculpt was done by Guillaume Revender. Yeah. And uh, he started the the sculpture. Okay. Uh, can I show the Z brush stuff? Yeah, let's get in there. Let's just. This is great. You're prepared with a lot, so this is fantastic for me. Yeah. So uh, he started the this uh, this. Uh, uh, the scalp, the scalp from for for the hand. Mm -hmm. So and then they gave it to me to to continue. Okay. 
uh, to continue and I continue with all the stuff with all those uh, the, the sculpting from the body for the for the head yeah stuff like that and did do you have uh, did you have concept or you're just having to make this up yeah the, there is a there was a concept actually can I yep uh, I would love show it. it in a minute okay so this were the, this were their concept but they said that it it's changed you know it this is just a simple concept and just they they gave they gave me free freedom to do whatever I want with it. With it. Yeah. Uh, they actually uh, uh, gave me uh, this 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 file in Maya. So they they have it. Uh, they previously broke it into pieces pieces, and mm -hmm. uh, the, the animation team was was starting uh, was starting to animate it. So I had to keep this uh, uh, the, the I know the silhouette of, and stuff like that. So I I had to keep all the the volumes, the big volumes. So I didn't have to uh, to create anything else. I I was uh, responsible just to do the you know the the, the details. Okay. Like I got it. All right. So they had a concept and they had a base mesh for you. Yeah. yeah and then, base mesh. okay. And then, so you take this into ZBrush and your job is, is to, is to get to the final piece. Yeah, that's right. And so, was your primary focus on ZBrush or did you go into substance or did you just go step by step? It was step by step. So first uh, it was ZBrush, ZBrush mm -hmm. then the low poly, then the, then substance. Okay. Uh, in substance, they wanted to to create the void material, so okay. they can use it with the for the for all the the other assets they 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 will use the void yeah. material. Yeah. And did you do that? Did you do the material, or did they give it to you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've done the, the material. Was it something you did in designer or painter? Yeah, in designer. All the all the materials for uh, for them. Yeah, they want it to be done in in designer. Ooh, nice! Like that. <laughs> Every time I see this stuff, man, I just love it. Cause it's, I mean, this is a whole another level of crazy. Yeah, I, I really like designer actually, and I really like the idea of what how they are doing stuff, and wow, what how can, how can you do uh, procedural proce procedural stuff? Mm. With, the, with it so uh, what, what i like most actually it's the fact that you can uh, you can control the all the all the the little pieces in in painter you know like for example just i will show you a, a little bit of uh, an, an example you see here like uh, you can control this this kind of uh, detail uh, I with a map and stuff like that. So uh, you you can rotate them. You can rotate them uh, uh, interactively. Mm -hmm. You know. So that that's one part that I I like most about uh, designer and painter. You know, combined. How and does we, you know? Uh, how, uh, just from a high level. Uh, how do you connect substance designer and painter? Um, is it something where you work in substance designer, you get things working, and then you switch and you go to substance painter, and then you do maps and layer maps on top of that? Or is there a back and forth? Uh, it's somewhere like, I, I don't know. Well, first, uh, I think I, I'm, I'm doing the, the material, mm -hmm. then I'm uh, sending, sending it to painter and paint here. But uh, they didn't want a lot of layers over over them yes so uh, uh, it should be like a simple stuff actually for this void it was just this material and uh, a bit of uh, dirt and stains and stuff like that for the for the color got it yeah and then when you're designing these materials do you bring this model in to designer so that you can see it yeah, yeah. okay so instead but, of using uh, the normal cube yeah, uh, actually, uh, I, I brought the yeah, got it. Uh, 
this and just put the material but uh, i don't know if now we i don't know if it will work right now it's like this you can see it here you know you can see all the stuff but uh, i don't have a a 3D map uh, over it, so okay. the, the normal map doesn't show very well. Actually, it doesn't show at all. At all yeah. The normal. Yeah. No, I got it. And uh, our, we've ran into this before, where you got to have the normal, and definitely have to have the normal yeah. set first. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So now to see it, you have to com I have to combine it, and yeah, yeah, just I can do that very quickly, actually. Because I have it here like a resource, I think. Okay, so it's this one. Yeah, so yeah, this one. This is the the normal, the generated normal map, the baked. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me. Combine my first one. I think it should be like that. So you can see it in three D. It seems to be inverted, so, so I think. So this is the one, and uh, I've just uh, exported my uh, my maps to to see how 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 it it will look in the end. But yeah, it doesn't show the same as in Painter. Right. Okay. So you can get a sense of it in that preview, but you do have to you do have to get it into Painter and see what kind of trouble you're in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. It's totally totally different environment. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so um, if you don't mind, I'd love to start at the beginning with ZBrush. Um, okay. And then what, I, what I, my hope is we just kind of walk through the creation of, the, of a character like this, including, you know, looking at your low res. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, in ZBrush, as you're working on this, you know, it looks like it's decimated. It looks like it's very clean. Did you sculpt this? Did you use procedural tools? What kind of brushes were useful? So uh, I've sculpted I've sculpted by hand uh, with a with a planner map. Oh yeah. Planner brush. Yeah, that's a hard and brush to use, man. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> actually Guillaume showed me showed me how he used it because before that I I didn't knew I never used that. Uh -huh. But it, it's a great uh, brush if you if you understand it. Yeah. And actually, it's not that hard because. Uh, you just uh, you just have to understand that when something doesn't go, you just press Alt, you know, and it will go on that on that right. side. Right. So yes. For example, if I have have the uh, the planar brush like that, and uh, if I want to cover this, no, right now, if I'm starting here, oh, okay, I don't. I think I have the layers. I'll just create another. So if I'm starting here, nothing happens. You, you see that it goes only on that, but if yep. I'm pressing Alt, so I'm starting here, I'm pressing the Alt key, yep. and that you can cover it. So after that, I'm just using this one, and so on. So you you have to just try and play with the Alt, with Alt key, so that's it. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's. I remember when we were developing that brush because that was during my time there. Um, one of the problems was, you know, it's not intuitive that you have to press Alt, so you have to tell people that. Yeah, that's it. I, I never knew that. Uh, yeah. Just Guillaume showed me, and it was uh, it was great. You know, a big ep epiphany. Was it? Um, did you use any other features inside of ZBrush for that brush? Like, for example, the depth um, setting. Is can be useful. No, uh, I have I haven't I haven't used that. Okay. I use that. I just use it like default, and that's it. Okay, great. Part of using that. 
Do you, would you mind just like grabbing a sphere and showing us, you know, how you uh, just real quick, how they could kind of get that same level of texture? Okay, so it was like that. Yeah. And, uh, let's say, for example. And uh, I should also mention, you guys can should be able to see the below that the Zenimax, the Arcane Studio, and Bethesda. You know, so they wanted to make sure that we were showing, you know, that this is what the work was created for. So. Yeah, that's right. So, for example, if I'm, I want to do something, so I'm first starting with a trim dynamic, so mm -hmm. just to play, to do a bit of, uh, of, of shapes, like yeah. that. Yeah. But, you know, you, you, you can't have these kind of, uh, uh, with a trim dynamic, it's hard to have, like, planar stuff. So that's why we've used the planner, the planner brush, mm -hmm. the plane brush. So I'm just using this. Then here I'm starting. Press Alt. I'm pressing Alt. So, and I got this uh, this sharp, sharp, and sharp edge. And this is how uh, I've done it actually. After that, so for example, if I want to go further, just play with the bit of clay to this is here, like this, and then. That's the that that's how I sculpted actually. Nice, great. So that was the that was. A, oh, also I've uh, I've used a bit of uh, some some cracks, some uh, uh, some just a few brushes for mm -hmm. the the cracks, but the cracks were just a few stuff, not a lot of. Uh, you you can see them here like that is i think that that's a brush wait for it's a i downloaded it from uh, uh, okay i don't know how how it's what's the name of the guy uh, okay so it's like this one is this one i know i've seen it in uh, Is this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, cool. Yeah, so the, these are great, great brushes actually. Mm -hmm. for, for the stuff, for this kind of stuff. So the, I just use that for to break a bit the the planners. The planner uh, stuff. And mm -hmm. I've also sometimes I've used the the clip, the clip brush. You know, when I wasn't the the clip. I don't know how to call it clip brush. It's yeah, and yeah. I understand these kind of uh, edges. It was faster to to use the clip. Okay, and so now you've got your finished um, piece. Your finished sculpt. Uh, and then, so the next stage is getting to the low res, right? Yeah, but the low res was uh, was a simple, uh, uh, how to go, what's called this one? It's a decimation, and it was a simple decimation with a bit of uh, adjustment in uh, in a topo gun, and it it was fast actually. The, okay. The low res was a simple. How many simple polygons thing. was the goal? I don't remember actually. <laughs> Do you think was it um, like a couple thousand or tens of thousands? Oh, I think a couple of thousands. I okay. really don't remember. I can search for it. But oh, okay, so I can show it here. I think with uh, I pressing 
which one is it? Not this one. Like this one. Oh, I know it's a wireframe. So it's this. This uh, you can see the. Hmm. Yeah, a couple thousand. Yeah. Not. It's it's not a lot. They're not. Yeah. It's not. But it it didn't matter the the topology it didn't matter because uh, they they animated it like uh, hard, uh, hard yeah. rigid bodies and that's it yeah i understand so, that uh, okay so that makes sense so then um so now when we're looking at this uh the next stage was what you've got your sculpt you got your low res did you go to substance designer yeah and baked it i bake it Mm -hmm. And then I've created the uh, the materials. Mm -hmm. Started with the materials uh, in the in Painter. Um, I've uh, I've done this uh, this kind of cracks and uh, uh, and these details. Uh, they they wanted to to replicate the, that uh, obsidian. I I show to have this kind of. Uh, Oh, okay, so just let me just get that in front. Oh, they they showed. Uh, I've searched for this obsidian. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know rocks like that, and they they wanted this kind of uh, details to to be there. So I didn't want to sculpt it because. Uh, I wanted to have it in uh, in the in the material right. to to have the the power to use it and rotate them how I wanted. So that's it. So I just created in uh, in designer and then applied it in in painter. For that, for example, I've used uh, how to uh, you will see some maps. So these are like uh, user maps. Mm -hmm. so you, you can see the, this one it's white, this one it's great. So uh, they have a different uh, direction. Actually, this, this, uh, that map controls the rotation of uh, of the of the lines. Oh, okay. And the material allows that. Yeah, yeah. If you if you do it like you want in substance designer you you can do that actually because you, you can see here i have some inputs and uh, if you use it as a as a as a filter in substance painter it, it will look uh, at your uh, at your maps at your channels actually and mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can control that like that Okay. So this was before. Right now, you can do it with uh, anchor points. It, I think, it's easier to do it with anchor po points right now. But uh, before, before anchor points, uh, you you couldn't do that only with the uh, with the channels. You can you can read the channels and uh, rotate or use them like you want. So, I have this channel for uh, for the op opacity of the lines. So mm -hmm. For example, if you go. I'm going here. You see, the, this channel is with the for the opacity. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want them to be shown all over the place, so that's it. Got it. Anchor points. Is it anchor points in Substance Painter or Designer? In Substance Painter. Okay. Painter. But but they didn't want um, a lot of stuff done in in Substance Painter, right? They wanted it in Designer. Yeah, because uh, they wanted to to control uh, to have a, a material that can be applied to other uh, assets as well. Procedurally inside the game engine, right? Uh, no, no. I think uh, in Painter, so oh, okay. they so other artists they could take that material yeah. and uh, has, uh, they should have the same uh, roughness, the same color, the, everything uh, will be the same. So. Everything will be consistent for uh, for the game, actually. So when you when they want to change something in in the material, 
they will change it, but uh, they will update the Substance Painter files and export the maps again, and that's it. But uh, it will be just uh, as simple as that. So they couldn't. Uh, that's the the beauty of uh, of substances, actually. Uh, Got it. Can it. be consistent consistent for all the all the all the art team. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So I. Yeah, get your questions out, guys. I'm going to be asking in a second, but uh, Christian, man, I would love it if you talk to us in Substance Designer. And, um, you know, you're obviously very fluent, but, and we wouldn't have time to, I mean, I would sit here forever if you were willing to break down that material, but um, I think we, we all got things we got to get to. How do you, how do you approach thinking about this? Um, and just assume that, you know, we don't know that much of substance design or we know it's nodal. Um, yeah. But we just learned, let's say, a little while ago that there's actually these generators inside there where you can say, you know, create leaf patterns or crack patterns. But so yeah. how, how do you break down the initial stage of planning a material like this? Okay. Uh, I don't plan it, actually. I, I'm, I'm just starting with the... Uh what I need to do. Mm -hmm. So first, uh, they, uh, first you just need to create the high map. Okay. That's the, the main, uh, the main, uh, the main map that you can do. Okay. So for, 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 for this, ex uh, for this uh, material, it's, for example, I've just started with the, for creating the lines. You know, ah, okay. For, uh, for that, it, for me, it was the most important important part to to that to do that. Uh, I just started to create the lines. Then I just uh, create the I, I just created the the mask for them. Mm -hmm. So it, it was simple. The lines were were pretty fast to do because you have this kind of uh, node already in a in a Subtone Designer. So you just have to uh, adjust it a bit and rotate it and stuff like that. But uh, it was a fast, uh, a fast. Uh, it, it was fast to do actually, because uh, you don't have a lot of uh, for this material. It was it's not a uh, it's not a complex material actually. If you look closely, there are like a few lines. You you. There are like cracks, and that's it, you know. So the other stuff are, are the colors, and that's it. It's not a it's not a hard material. They actually don't want to have uh, Arcane Studio didn't want it to have you know a lot of stuff going into materials. They wanted to if, for example, they want to have dirt, they will put the dirt in a different layer in a, in painter so the the materials are just uh, you know simple material clean materials like that so for this this kind of uh, material i just needed the the lines and the cracks and that's it and the color book, which was a simple uh, bluish color with some with a, with some cracks, you know, with a, some this kind of crack, just to give a, a bit of a feeling. To mm. And did you generate that inside of a Designer? Is there a node for that? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, there there are nodes for everything. Mm. Uh, That's what I hear, so, man. It's just amazing. Yeah, the, this is like the. These are like the cracks. Okay. And you can warp them. You can change them a bit. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff, you know, with them. So it starts with some kind of, if I remember correctly, it starts with some kind of cellular pattern. Or are you pulling from a texture map? Like I see there are texture maps. Um, yeah, yeah. No, below. it's a cellular uh, pattern. Okay. It's just a pattern. It's not. Uh, I didn't use the, any texture. Okay, so it's like cell one, two, three. I think they've got a couple of them, and you're just picking the one that kind of works for you. Then, correct me if I'm wrong. You start to run it through a bunch of different filters, like edge detect, like levels. You know. Yeah, that's it. 
That's okay. Actually, uh, if I remember well, I, I think I uh, I've took that I I've taken that uh, this cellular stuff mm -hmm. from uh, from uh, I don't know from a grunge map. Okay. So if you, if you look like if you're importing a grunge map, I don't know if this. This one is it's not this one because it doesn't have any 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 cracks, but yep. let me just so if you see it like it's red stuff, you know, if you can just open it uh, to see how they've done the how 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 they done the, the material actually. So in the end you you can just I I've just took the I've just looked at what how they've done that uh, cellular stuff, but I don't remember which one. No, no, that's great. But I, I, I want to, if you don't mind, I want to, um, can you close that and do that again? Because that's, I think, probably one of the most important things I, I want um, people to get out of this was, uh, I've looked at Substance Designer and we've been teaching it, but nobody's ever told me that you go into these generators and you yeah. can you have the capacity to break them down like these templates. Yeah. So that's awesome. You actually, actually, if you want to see how they are done, doing it, for example, the uh, the noises are just uh, are just uh, pixel processors, processor, mm -hmm. and that's it. They, they they are doing this math stuff and this crazy crazy stuff. But a lot of uh, a lot of grunge maps and stuff like like that are just. Uh, I think the grunges uh, are using uh, some textures actually. Okay. But, uh, but for the cracks, they didn't. They they they've done them uh, procedurally. I think this one was. Just... Let's see. No, it does not have any. This one. There is a grunge map with a. I don't remember which one, but yes, I I, I took that from uh, from from them. So if you want to see it, you just go to see how they've done it. You just open, go right click on it, open refer reference. You can't change anything to okay. to it, but uh, you you will see how they they've done it. So if you see this one, it's clouds. Mm -hmm. You can open it again, you know. You can open it again and see how they they they've done the all the stuff. So you, just a, an FX map. The FX map are like uh, I know, like particle. I I I I'm thinking of them like particle stuff. No, and that's it. They just created this yeah. kind of uh, FX maps. They. they They've changed it a bit, and voila! So to to see the FX map, this uh, I think these are great for uh, technical artists, you know, for for guys they know math, you know, they know math how to how to how they know how all the stuff is mm -hmm. calculated, you know, you you go to into functions and stuff like that. But what? Oh my. Okay, so you can actually go all the way into a cloud to see how the cloud functions. Exactly. Wow. So that's great. You 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 will learn a lot from what they've done. What uh, what they've done. All right, I got to I got to pause for one second. Guys, what uh what uh, let me let's get some reaction from that. What do you think of that capacity? Is that new to you? Did you already know that? Am I, am I the only one oblivious or does, um, how does that strike you? Powerful, not powerful. Um, and you guys know me. So everybody, please give me a shout out. Aaron, Alexander, Andre, Ira, Isaac, Narciss, Oscar. Uh, and Isaac, I think, um, I think you're getting your answer right here, right? You're getting your tips on character creation. Uh, Kyle, he's saying you can't change them. Yeah, you you can't change you can't change them. Actually, uh, you can copy them and uh, create another uh, another substance like another graph and yeah. place them there, and you can uh, change them there. So, for example, if I want to move it, you see, can't uh, uh, say that it is 
it's not editable because it, uh, it's a read-only package and stuff like that. But uh, you can take them and just uh, create another uh, graph mm -hmm. and paste them here, there, and you can modify them there on that. Uh, so this is a, these are this was like uh, which one was. This was a, a Gaussian blur or something like that. I, I don't remember. Uh, no, it's a Gauss. Uh, yeah, the Gaussian spots. So this is how they've done it, actually. That's great. And FX map and stuff like that. So it's all right. And all the stuff it's based only on the FX map and pixel processor. Mm -hmm. all, all they have done in, done is done like that. It's great to see how they done it, and you can learn a lot from from that. Okay, I understand that. All right, so um, you're, you're start, when you're starting this out, the first thing you think about is height. And, yeah. And so basically it's going into the normal. Yeah. Okay, and so now when you do that, the, the, the first step to doing that is creating some kind of cellular pattern, some kind of, you know, um, just some kind of line work, I think is what one of the phrases you used. Um, yeah. So, Yeah. Yeah, I, I've done that. So then I I, I just uh, combine them. Okay. And that's it. All right. So it's just all it's like a whole bunch of like generators basically. Um, yeah. You know procedural yeah, materials that are coming from different lines and cellular patterns, and then you just start blending and layering them like so many Photoshop layers to yeah. get um, the effect that you want. So uh, what kind? What do you think are some of the essential? The essential uh, elements that make a successful material, something that's really going to work. Is it a lot of nodes? Is it having clear distinctions? What makes it I, successful? I don't know. I, I'm not that good in, in Substance Designer. I'm just doing what <laughs> how I'm, I'm thinking of myself that yep. I'm just, uh, you know, just an artist trying to do it to do the best he, he can but i've seen a lot of guys guys doing great stuff with substance designer i'm not that good you know uh, i don't know don't i don't i don't really understand your question i think that the the you you will do the roughness and stuff like that and a material will look great but the main the main point is the high map. Got it. So yeah. it, the most important thing for you, get the height map, get the the way in which they're they're interacting with each other going. Would you say it's fair to say, you know, that you'd want to have, you know, three or more kind of generators merging into each other so you have a certain level of complexity, or do you not think that's important? Well, maybe if it depends on the material you want to do, to create. Okay. So that's it. Okay, if, got it. If the materials uh, has a lot of details, mm -hmm. but I'm not a fan of a lot of details. Actually, in, in Arcane, we 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 uh, for me for for the materials I created, it was just simple materials, not a lot of uh, not not a lot of details. Yeah. Like the, the style of the game. Uh, wasn't needed to you don't have to, to you don't need to create a lot of noise on on your uh, uh, on on your models yeah you know and that's actually a great way for a great point for us to segue on so if you don't i think i'd like to step out of the out of substance substance painter and void and let if let's look at some of your character work um, okay. Because the next thing that a lot of uh, character artists have, uh, aspiring character artists have, one of the next uh, issues that kind of comes up is, do I do realistic work? Do I do stylized work? You know, what am I going to show off in my portfolio? What am I not going to show off? And Arcane is in that area where, for me, most of the jobs are in the area in which Arcane is in, which is it's not realistic as a Naughty Dog. Um, but it's not super stylized, like say World of Warcraft might be, or low res like that. Um, yes. So most of the work in the industry is right here. So like if we were to take a look at that second character, I think you did the substance in the um, second from the left. Uh, yeah. Um, so 
yeah, it, second. Which uh, what I'd love to do is look at one of the ones that you actually that you were part of the sculpting phase of as well, or because I really yeah, just want to get one I didn't uh, on this one I yeah I didn't work on the sculpt. I okay. just created the materials and the paint the painter file. Okay, got it. The texturing. Yeah. So for this one, for example, I, I've uh, I've done the materials, but on this one. Uh, this was for designer, uh, for the designer second, mm -hmm. and uh, for designer two, yeah. and uh, we worked on Photoshop on this, so it wasn't uh, with substance. Okay, hand painted then. The substance was used only on the DLC. Oh, okay. Prepared for the next projects and stuff like that. So before that, we used Photoshop. Okay, so talk to me about. Um about the level of detail that uh, um, that these kinds of characters require, or actually let me phrase this a little bit because I think I'm being a little vague. Um, what advice would you give somebody who uh, thinks that they need to create photorealistic characters to get into the game industry? Okay, so I think that they should look on the on the big uh, big on the big shapes. Okay. They they shouldn't lose themselves in the details. Okay. Because the, the you can create the details in uh, in normal map, for example, but uh, that's another case. Uh, usually, the details are uh, are destroying your uh, uh, how you see your uh, your characters. You you can lose a lot of uh, nice forms and a lot of uh, in games, if you think about it, you won't see uh, a lot of characters from, from. Uh, uh, you will see them from far, you know, from like uh, third person or something like that. You you won't see them from near. You you won't see the details. What what you have done? Yeah, it's nice to to do the details, but uh, it's better not to lose in them, and it's. Uh, for me, for what I've learned from Arcane, actually, uh, it is just you. You need to have the uh, the the silhouette and the big details uh, to tell the story, tell the the story of the character, and tell and show and show them uh, nicely. You know, you you will lose a lot of stuff just uh, doing the details. For example, on this one. These details were just uh, the. These were like a smaller part of. Uh, 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 were just applied in uh, in the. In, like that, you know, just a simple, uh, simple, uh, maps in uh, ZBrush and that's mm -hmm. it. But uh, in Arcane, in how we are, how they want to see the the character. Yeah. Uh, they want to see these big shapes, the, these big lines, the, uh, to 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 see them, and to see the, they work if they work like that. You know, okay. they don't want to go into details like uh, doing some little little stuff like here, and they they don't want that. Got it. They don't want it that. So that's it. They they want to go. Actually, uh, they they have a. Uh, uh, a nice, uh, a nice pipeline mm -hmm. to to start a character. How to start a character? Actually, to uh, for, for I can show you. I can show you actually. I would how, love that. How they uh, we we are modeling a lot of uh, a lot of faults actually in uh, in Maya. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask. Is if you do them in Marvelous Designer. Uh, no, for for this for this character for the Dishonored, uh, we didn't use Marvelous. Okay. I know they they want to start to use Marvelous, but uh, they are testing it. So uh, they want to have uh, this kind of lay and decor. You know the this kind of lay and decor uh, yep. forms and. Yeah. In fact, uh, I, you know, I never know how to pronounce his last name, but. Uh, um... Do you mind searching for that real quick, Lion Decker? Okay. Yeah, uh, just so I people know exactly who we're talking. Oh, there you go, JC. Yeah. 
This is um, a contemporary of Rockwell. Uh, not a con I mean, he's older than Rockwell, but uh, Rockwell yeah, learned from. Rockwell learned from him. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I think he was uh, he was notorious for um, for his lifestyle. If he had money, yeah. he spent it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I understood that Big Gatsby was uh, was uh, was him actually. No way, really. Yeah, they, they are saying that uh, it's inspired by his style, his style of life. His style <laughs> of life. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Maybe he was that. So uh, a lot of well, when I read the book, they say they they said that uh, you know. Bit was uh, was him, so that's it. That's awesome. I have to read up on that. So I understand this. This is um, you creating very structured yeah. uh, folds and things of that nature. Yeah, the, that that was the main uh, idea of, of uh, Arcane. You know, to to have these kind of uh, big shapes for uh, you. You don't have to lose a lot of. Uh, you you don't have to lose in uh, small uh, in small details. You you just have to read the character from far and to be readable and to be to have this kind of uh, I don't know of designed uh, uh, of designed shape. I Got it. Got it. Know. Okay. So let's. Uh, so how does that work in terms of the pipeline? Yeah. So I will show you. Uh, how they will start just a bit, just a second mm -hmm. to, to look for the okay, just okay. So, this is the file. Before, uh, so this is the file. The uh, the the art director was uh, okay with it. See, so that's how uh, we uh, we have we had to create the all the shapes, and that's nice because you won't lose yourself in uh, in a lot of details. Mm -hmm. You will just keep the details big and the uh, structures like that. Yeah. You know, of course, in in uh, ZBrush, uh, we we adjust adjusted that because it's it's hard to you know to to do it uh, properly in Maya, but uh, it was that was the main idea. You know, for all the characters, we just started with uh, with in Maya and just uh, had to to see to to see if it looks uh, nice, to see if we have the grad the gradients mm -hmm. uh, going well. Because uh, they they are putting a lot of uh, I don't know, price they 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 are pricing this gradient. Can can we see the wireframe of that too? Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's like that. It's, it, these are the this is the wireframe and these are like uh, cre creases. Okay, got it. That's what I was wondering. Okay, so this is serious. This is just all polygonal modeling, and they got the little darts, yeah. the little triangles to give it the um, the compression area. So hold hold it right there, just so we can catch a nice glimpse of that chest. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, and is this a uh, smoothed? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, with a smooth preview. Okay. If you, this is like without it and this is with, with it. Okay, got it, understand. All right, that's a really wonderful to see. That's very valuable. Um, one of the things that I've been um, discovering, you know, and it's been, uh, it's just a constant that's going, but uh, one of the things I've been discovering as, as we've been down this journey of uh, the boot camps is how ZBrush, while it's this massive marketing um, part, of our experience, it's a beautiful piece of software. Everybody loves it. I love it, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's actually kind of a very small portion of the character artist's life. Yeah. Because somebody yeah. might think, why didn't you just sculpt this inside a ZBrush and then redo the topology? But there's a reason why you didn't sculpt it inside of ZBrush. Um, yeah. 
in your mind, why would somebody do this in Maya as opposed to ZBrush? Uh, okay, so uh, that was the main question a lot of guys uh, asked me because uh, I was uh, some kind of a lead here for uh, I I I uh, they trusted me to 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 use uh, another uh, to use to to gather for our for artists from Romania to so we uh, we uh, we work like that so a lot of guys. So they they asked me why why can't why why can't we uh, we use the ZBrush and do this kind of stuff? Actually, you can't because uh, it's very hard to to get this kind of, uh, of nice details, you know, uh, mm -hmm. straight details. It it's hard in Z, in ZBrush to, to yeah. do that. Yeah. It's not it's not impossible. A lot, you know, maybe a, a ZBrush uh, god can do that but uh, for 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 me for for me it, it's easier to do it in maya to change it faster actually uh, for example i just started this to to have you know it's hard to model in maya all the stuff and so first when i started this i just done uh, the 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 main shapes the in in zbrush very fast so I can see them. So I can see they they, they are working, but uh, then I, I I brought it to Maya, yeah. uh, read, uh, top over them, and then just uh, clean cleaning up, cleaning up. So clean them up, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. Uh, Got it. I understand and that. Then that's it. So uh, they they want uh, Arcane wanted to to look to look at. To look at this kind of uh, uh, base mesh, we can we we are, we call them like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, they they first want to 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 give the okay for them, and then we'll, we will go to ZBrush. Got it, got it. Because the first step was they wanted to make sure it fit the style guide, right? The structure. That's right, and so the and the and the silhouette. It's okay. And everything it's uh, it's how it's supposed how it's supposed to be, and then after that, uh, the we we can go in ZBrush and and adjust some some uh, some of the clothing and some of the folds, and that's it. But okay. First, they they want to see that. So it's it's you know uh, some I say that it's uh, you, it, you can work. A lot on that, and mm. that, and it's true. But uh, the feeling that you get uh, after that, it's uh, it's much more interesting than to just model it in uh, ZBrush and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I got it. That makes a lot of sense, and no, marvelous. But but maybe at some point, marvelous will serve the same purpose as ZBrush, where it'll be like a base, yeah. and then you retopo. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay. Actually, I, that's how I see it for for what they want to do. Or that's how I see it now. Okay. I don't know how they will integrate that, but uh, that's their uh, pipeline. That's how I see it. I see like you you, you will start in Mar Marvelous. You'll do a, a retop over them, over mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And then uh, create this kind of uh, mimic uh, the the style of you know, laying the curve. That's it. Got it. All right. Well, why don't we um, end this, wrap this up, looking at your art station. Any questions you guys want to ask? I've been looking, and I'm pretty confident that we hit all of the questions um, in this. So uh, if there's anything, shout it out now. Let's get a sense. And then otherwise, uh, at art station, you can find Christian right here. You can see his URL right there up at the top. How do I say your last name? Puliarka. Uh, Boliarka? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can get to him here at Art Station to connect and um, and just follow him. So make sure you follow him there. Is there anywhere else where people should connect? Do you have like a Facebook page or a Gumroad or anything? Uh, I, I have a Gumroad, but I just for uh, for the scripts I'm using, I'm creating. So I'd love to see that if, um, if you want to share it. Uh, sometimes those things are useful. 
just uh, this is my blog my blog and uh, actually my blog it's like uh, a portfolio it doesn't have any something doesn't have any different from 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 our station mm -hmm. but this is the the page with some scripts and i think i put one of of them in, on uh, on Gumroad, but okay so that's it so art station is going to be the main way that you guys can get to connect with christian and um and uh, and uh, just you know follow his progress uh so what's the next steps for you in your career uh, i'm trying to to do freelance mm -hmm. i'm doing freelance right now yep. uh, actually uh, beside arcane i'm working with uh, another french company okay so uh, right now uh, they are all not doing anything they i'm not doing anything from them for them but i'm doing something else for for another company from another irish company so awesome all right so more freelancing yeah more freelancing oh. Okay, and then any advice for uh, people who are starting out? Um, what could be like one thing that they could do or focus on next year that you think would really increase their chances of getting a job? Okay, uh, I would I would like to know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe. For me, what worked is was uh, what worked. <laughs> it, I was always uh, serious on my on my job. You know, yeah. when I done something, I was serious. I I I I, I spoke with the uh, with the guys uh, with with my uh, lead and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I I just be uh, connected all the time because I I've seen that uh, on, in in freelancing. If you want to do that, you just have to be there to respond and to to ask a lot of questions because you are not there. You don't know the the art style. You 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 don't know what the the art director wants. Mm -hmm. so it's better to to ask a lot of questions. You know, that's it. I think and just be serious and do something. Uh, I'm not a fan of, for example, I'm not a fan. I know that this is. That's um, a lot, a main question in here, you know, uh, should I do uh, sketches or should I do uh, finished char characters? Mm -hmm. So I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of sketches Yeah. because I, I've seen that uh, f for me, it worked to just do the character until the end. And then I, I've seen that I've learned more from that than just do a, a simple sketch i see the the point of the sketches but i've never done done it maybe if i would do it uh, yeah if i have time i will do it yeah, yeah. That's no it. that's great that's perfect because that's one of the big models we have in the boot camp is you got to go deep not wide and you're not going to yeah. grow if you just keep tracing over the same path over and over the same 90 you know 90 meter dash and you just keep doing the same dash where yeah you know, yeah, I mean, that's you haven't even started the marathon as far as we're concerned. Yeah, so. that's, that's it. So just be serious. And if you like what you're doing, the, you, it will, it, you will get there. That's it. Awesome. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, my friend, for taking the time out and, uh, and for sharing all of your knowledge. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing what you're up to next year. Okay. Thank you. Thank all you right. for, for contacting me and, uh, Letting me do this. Absolutely. All right. I would. I hope, I hope uh, everyone understood me. Yes, absolutely. I'm not that good on speaking and stuff like that. Oh no, you did great, man. It's awesome. It's really awesome, and it's just amazing to see the depth of the breadth of the skill set too. And uh, and that's kind of inspiring for people, I think, that are starting out because they get to see, you know, there's just so much to keep learning. So it's yeah, fun. Yeah, but uh, bit by bit, you you will learn, and that's it. Yeah, you have to to practice a lot, and this is the 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 main key. You know, the, there are not uh, like any magic stuff. You know, it, it's great. The tutorials are great. What, what you are doing and a lot of 
other uh, tutorials or other video tutorials are, are great, you know, but you just need to to work yourself. That's how you improve yourself. Not yeah. without, not with any tutorials. Uh, you know the stuff, you will learn the stuff, but it's easier to get there. For me, it was hard because when I learned, I didn't have any tutorials and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. uh, th these are great. But the main po point is that you have to, to, to work. Awesome. That's a perfect way to end this. That's a great way to cap that. All right, man. Take care. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks, guys, uh, for joining us and, uh, and for the questions. Mohammed, awesome work you've been doing, my friend. All right, Christian. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.